Hey, what is going on guys, Arcus Pro here. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make any song your ringtone for iOS 8, seeing as I did make another tutorial, but some people haven't been able to find the tones folder and stuff like that, so I'm going to be doing it all over again, showing you guys how to do it step by step. Alright, so first off, you want to make sure you have the song downloaded, it can be pirated, it doesn't really matter, it can be any song you want, I'm going to just use Flume holding on for, um... The tutorial today so once you do have that song you would first want to make sure you go into the control panel um if you are on windows 8 or mac os x um i will leave links in the description to my other videos for that if you are on windows 8 you will need to follow that tutorial seeing is that it is a little bit different uh, editing folder options and stuff like that so make sure you follow that tutorial enough and if you are on mac will you you will need to follow the mac tutorial as well but if you're on Windows 7 or Windows Vista, you should be able to follow this tutorial. It should be fine. So just go into Folder Options. Um, if yours does look a little bit different to this, it might look like that, or it might look like that. Just change it to Large Options. It'll locate the folder which says Folder Options. And once you are in here, you want to go into View, and you want to make sure that is unticked. Hide extensions for known file types. You should click Apply, and OK. So as you can see now with this. Uh, if we rename it, um, it has the MP3 and that's what we want. Alright, so you want to make sure you have iTunes as well on your computer. <coughs> I'm just going to close that for now. So if you have iTunes open, if you guys don't have the tones tab like I do, don't worry, it will it will appear automatically once you drag the ringtone into your iTunes. I just have it here because it's been there since my other tutorial, but don't worry, it will automatically go in there. So you just want to drag this song into here, and as you can see there, it's like that. Now what you can do is click Create AAC Version, right click on it and click Create AAC. This is basically just duplicating the song so you won't be editing the original runtime of your actual song. So if you do actually have a song that you like to listen to, you don't want to edit it so it's only 30 seconds long. So that's why we're duplicating it. So depending on how fast your computer is, it should only take about 20 10 seconds doesn't really take that long to be honest um so this is nearly finished you will get a little sound once it has finished um so once it has finished you want to right click on that and you want to click get info and from here you just want to go into um options sorry you want to make sure these two are ticked and now the ringtone has to be 30 seconds long but it can't it can be from the start from zero seconds to 30 seconds or it could be from any time in the song so say for this example it's 2 minutes 35 you could start it at 2 minutes and 5 seconds and end it at 2.35 it doesn't matter as long as it's 30 seconds long I'm going to make it um and you have to use the semicolon so just like that and you want to make sure it's ticked and you click OK once that has done you want to right click and click create AC version yet again on the song if I can find it which that there we go. And you want to create an AAC version. It would be faster since it's only 30 seconds long. But if you want to make sure you have the right size song, it should say right there 30 seconds. Um, if your iTunes does look a little bit different, don't worry. It's the same your layout and stuff. You right click it and cre create create AAC version and stuff like that. And once you have that song, you want to make sure you, you just drag it out of iTunes like that. Okay, so as you can see there, it's now an M4A. That's a good sign. And you just want to rename it. Uh, I would just like to rename it. Okay, so my computer's just frozen. I'm sorry about that, guys. But um, once you have renamed it, I'll just show you in a sec once it unfreezes. Uh... I have no idea what's happened. Okay, so my computer just glitched out there. Um, so you just want to find the M4A folder right there. And you just want to right click on it and click rename. Now on here, you just want to change the A to the R. So it was an M4A for M4 Audio. And that's the iTunes file type. And you just want to hit M4R and click OK. And it says if you change a file name extension, the file might become usable. Just click yes. That's fine. Um, so just give that a sec while it changes it to an M4R. And my computer's freezing yet again. Alright, so just let it load. It, you wouldn't take this long for you. I'm on an old computer, seeing as I don't have iTunes on my 
uh, normal editing computer, so I'm using an old computer. There we go, so it did change there. Now you can see it says m 4 and it has the iTunes logo on it, so that's a good sign. Um, we're just going to have to reopen iTunes, seeing as it did close when my computer froze. But don't worry about that guys, your computer will not freeze and you just want to follow the steps. So make it from an M4A to an M4R. The R obviously stands for ringtone and so as you can see, I don't have any tones and if I just drag this in here, there we go, you've you've, su you've successfully created a ringtone. So once you have done that, you do I don't have an iPhone with me, but you just want to plug in your iPhone via your computer, via the USB cable and you just want to go on it, click sync and you might sure tones are selected now once you have sunk the tone onto your phone you just want to go into settings sounds and then you want to select ringtone and then your song should be up the top seeing as it's custom made but there you go guys that's how you make a ringtone for ios 8 please like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace